test 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 what the heck was that hey people today we are in lmms again and today i'm going to teach you how to use zenad sub effects actually i'm not really teaching you people how to use zenad sub effects because like i don't know much about zenad sub effects but anyway let's jump right into it okay Firstly, what the hell is Zenad Sub Effects? Well, I'm just going to read directly off the website. Zenad Sub Effects is a fully featured open source software synthesizer capable of a. So basically, software synthesizer means a piece of software that makes sound. So in this case, I input some notes and basically it will spit out some sound. So if I play these notes into the thing, it will make some sound. It's kind of hard to hear, but I'll amplify that later. And the good thing is, Zenad Sub Effects is built directly into LMMS, which means that if you use LMMS, you can get it for free. <laughs> uh, it is free, but like the problem is that the uh, Zenfusion version, which is Zenad Sub Effects 3.0, which is the latest version with all this sexy um interface, that costs money to fund the development of Zenfusion. And I don't have money, so I don't have... Alright, so let's begin with teaching you how to use Zenad Sub Effects. Alright, so here in Zenad Sub Effects, well, for LMS, uh, you have to turn up the filter frequency here. In that case, because the filter frequency is turned into the middle by default, which means that it will like kind of block off some of the sound coming out of it. Which means that we have to turn it up so that it doesn't block out any sound coming from the inside of Zenad Sub Effects. And let's click show GUI to show the graphical user interface. And whoa, this is insane. What the hell is this? I don't know how to use this. Huh? Yeah, the Zenad Sub Effects interface is extremely hard to use because that's kind of how they designed it back then. Zenfusion, which is Zenad Sub Effects 3.0, as I mentioned earlier, uh, that has a lot better interface. But for now, we'll just have to stick with this because I don't have any money. Okay, 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 okay. Um, basically, we have to turn up the master volume because if we don't, then we can't really hear much. Here's the virtual keyboard. You can't really hear much, so if we turn it up. Okay, now we hear a sine wave, which is the default thing uh, that's activated in the net sub effects. However, how do we edit the sound? Well, let me show you. Okay, let me show you how to edit the sound. Currently, a sine wave is coming out of Zenad Sub Effects, but to edit what that produces, you need to go to Edit Instrument. Oh yeah, by the way, if you want this keyboard in Zenad Sub Effects, press VK over here, and that will uh, show this. So yeah. All right, you see the instrument edit window. We have add synth, sub synth, and pad synth. These are three different synthesizers that are built in Susan add sub effects. Currently, only add synth is enabled because that's the default. And this is because add synth is one of the more generic and standard synthesizers. It's kind of like serum and stuff. And if we go to edit in the add synth, you can see that we have our sine wave over here. And yeah, that's basically where this sine wave comes from. If we want to change this waveform, then we can click on change, go to uh, saw. Well, I always use saw, but like you can change it to a lot of these, for example, this one, and that will produce the appropriate sound. And yeah, basically like, okay, so let's go through how to change the waveform exactly. So this is the base function and this is the oscillator. The base function is basically what the waveform is. You have a couple of options here. Sine, triangle, pulse, saw, power, and else. And for many of these options, you can change the parameter and it will change the shape of the waveform, but will still maintain the type of waveform. For example, in a chirp, I can make it a lot of waves or very few waves by adjusting the parameter. And it does different things for each of them. All right, so then what does this oscillator do? I mean, it literally is the exact same as the base function, so what happens? Well, the oscillator um, uses the base function as a base function and uses harmonics from this thing right here. Uh, harmonics are, so this is the first harmonic, so it is like this. However, the second harmonic is that repeated twice. So let me just set that. So this repeats this waveform twice. And this harmonic repeats that thrice, and then this one four times. And basically it adds them all together, adds all of these harmonics together. 
and it does that. Okay, and there there are a couple of more options here. So for example, users base, uh, basically this, if you edit the oscillator and change the harmonics, click users, users base and it will use that harmonized waveform as the base function and then you can use that to harmonize that song. Okay, basically like that. So <laughs> yeah, you can keep doing that, but I wanna show you some other things. So this is wave shaping. Wave shaping shapes the wave in some way or another. So basically it does some pretty crazy things like that. And yeah. Okay, I already have a dubstep growl, but like whatever. Um, Filter filters the waveform basically. So this is a low pass. You can set the filter frequency, that, and it filters out everything. And this is modulation. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but it's pretty interesting and yeah. All right, so we have one waveform, but in fact, in AdSynth, we are allowed to have eight waveforms playing at the same time, or they could modulate each other. So basically in each uh, waveform, there is an amplitude, which basically is how loud everything is. The amplitude envelope changes how loud it is over time. Amplitude LFO also does that. Um, the envelope, however, only triggers once and the LFO just keeps going. So it repeats the modulation in there. So like... As you can see, it uh, repeatedly changes the loudness of the waveform. And you can basically enable each of these waveforms like this and change it like I did in here. There's also a filter. The filter basically is just a filter. As always, we have the filter parameters and we also have an envelope and LFO for that as well. And a frequency, which we also have an envelope and LFO for. Frequency is basically the pitch of the waveform. Now we have the modulator. The modulator, um, it uses one waveform to modulate another waveform. So in this case, I can use FM synthesis like this. Uh, as you can see, the sine wave here. So we can change what's modulating it by doing something like that or something. And yeah, you just change this and that will be... You can also make the waveforms modulate each other. So let's turn on this one uh, and let's change it to something interesting. And we can turn it on. And then you see the external mod, we can use xmod1, which is basically this waveform. And so basically this waveform is now FMing this one. However, we don't want this to produce its own sound, so we have to turn that volume down to zero. And then you can see the FM synthesis is kicking in. And yeah, that's basically AdSyn. We also have a unison option here, which is basically like, um, so how many of this waveform are playing? And each of them will be playing at a slightly different frequency, which is this frequency spread right here. So you can see there's a lot of it playing, all at a slightly different frequency. And also we can change the sound to noise. So now it's noise. Okay, and now it's sound. So uh, yeah, that's basically AdSynth, which is the main thing I'm going to be explaining as part of Zenad Sub Effects. There's a lot of stuff to explain in this. Yeah, Zenad Sub Effects is a very versatile uh, synthesizer, and there's so many features, I can't cover all of them in one video. So yeah, that's AdSynth. I have no idea what SubSynth does. I think it's just like a sine wave with harmonics or something. But I actually have no idea what that does, so let's disable that. Pad synth? Yeah, I don't know what that does either. So, yeah, basically, I don't know what any of this does. So, Ad synth is the only synthesizer that I will be explaining for this video. You can also apply effects in Zenad Sub Effects. To do that, we have to go to this main window here and go to Insertion Effects. And we have to insert it to Master Out because that's the out master output of the instrument right here. So we can set what effect we want to put in, like reverb, for example. And here is the, um, all of the settings for it. So yeah, you can apply these effects inside the plugin, which is awesome. So yeah, and now I've turned the uh, reverb off, which is means that there's no more reverb. So yeah, and that's basically it for today's video. We looked at Zenad sub effects, 
which is the instruments and also the effects and that's it for today's video. That's it at some effects. I tried to explain it quickly and it's really difficult because it has so many features. But yeah, maybe I'll just play a song that I created using... Oh yeah, the one in the last video about Game of Life. Bye.